at 6. Welcome back. A shakeup on the pork shelves at the grocery store is coming. And this special report, WMBD Shop Dom Dinesh joins us now live in studio to show us how a new animal welfare law threatens to upend the entire pork industry and what you can expect at the grocery store. Shab. Yeah, Durante, I traveled across central Illinois to see how local pig farmers are being impacted by a new California law mandating larger space requirements for pigs, cows, and chickens. Now, if they want to sell to California, which consumes 25% of the nation's pork, it's no longer business as usual, with a trickle-down effect to the consumer level. There will be a transition period. The pork industry is bracing for the January 1st implementation of a California animal welfare law. Proposition 12 requires sows to have at least 24 square feet of space, with the ability to move and turn around. Compare that to an average pen many pregnant sows find themselves in, gestation stalls that are two feet wide and seven feet long. But Dr. Nick Paulson, the associate head of the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Economics at the University of Illinois, says you likely won't see major price hikes at the grocery store. Um, I think in the short term, we could potentially see uh, possibly lower prices for, for non-Prop 12 pork because they're there might be, again, a, I think a relatively short term um, excess supply of, of that pork going to all other non-California markets. I don't foresee there to be any huge, broad uh, price shocks for pork products that, that are for extended periods of time. But what does this mean for the more than 2,100 pig farmers in Illinois? Right now, I'd say the hardest part of my job is not knowing what, what the future holds for my family business. Cheryl Walsh is a fourth generation pig farmer in Bradford with an expected reduced capacity of 30% and expensive infrastructure upgrade costs. Walsh says complying with Proposition 12 could put her out of business. I would have to rip out all of the feed lines. I'd have to rip out all of the gestation stalls, all the water troughs. It's very expensive. It would cost me millions of dollars to make this one barn right here Prop 12 compliant. It's their choice. No one is forcing them to do anything. That's Wayne Passell, the president of Animal Wellness Action. He's worked for the past 20 years to pass Proposition 12 in California, and he says gestation crates are inhumane and cruel. The crates are so narrow that it's like you or I being in a coffin um, or in a refrigerator for potentially you know, four months. Immobilization should not be a customary animal husbandry practice. These are feeling, thinking animals. They have behavioral needs just like a dog or a cat. If you immobilize them indefinitely, it causes psychological and physical problems. But Walsh disagrees and says farmers already know what's best for their animals. The pigs, they don't want that extra space. They really don't. You can see in this barn how clean the animals are. They have no marks on them from fighting. They're actually very content animals with just the up and down. They don't utilize all the space either when they have more space. Passell says pork producers are not obligated to sell to California, which comprises 25% of the U.S. market. So that means that no Illinois producer, if he or she doesn't wish to sell into those markets, needs to modify anything. 48 states and 139 countries already get conventionally raised pork. Now, Illinois' pig farm industry is the fourth largest in the country. It contributes nearly $14 billion to the state's economy, according to the Illinois Pork Producers Association. The National Pork Producers Council estimates infrastructure upgrades will cost farmers $3,500 per sow, and those co costs will be passed on to the consumer. The, con the, the Prop 12 goes into effect on January 1st.